Garland police say two young men involved in a deadly police chase over the weekend stole from businesses all across North Texas. Police say Burnaby Giles and Joey Jarvis are both charged now with organized criminal activity. They say Jarvis led them on a chase after learning they were wanted for a number of burglaries. That chase ended in a crash that killed a 16 year old passenger. Jarvis is also charged with murder. Fox Force David Centendry spoke with a business owner who believes a recent burglary at their shop was the work of these young men. David. Yeah, and Heather and Steve, we have spoken with several businesses throughout the past month that have been burglarized, and it turns out, coincidentally, police believe a lot of these crimes may have been connected and even a whole lot more. Security footage shows three people breaking into a Grand Prairie tattoo shop in the early morning of November 7th. They're inside for less than three minutes. Takes a toolbox. That's a big toolbox. Yeah. But the owners say the group stole $30,000 worth of equipment. It makes me feel violated, honestly. Caddy Ambrose's father opened Good Pain Artworks Tattoo and Piercing Shop last month. Oh, this is his dream. A dream to finally be able to tattoo full time after decades of doing it on the side while working a full time job. I don't understand how people can, you know, even think about doing something like this to a small business and other small businesses. Police say this burglary may be connected to a string of burglaries in at least a half dozen North Texas cities, including Garland. That's where Saturday night, police flagged a Tahoe believed to be used in burglaries there. The officers attempted to stop the vehicle. The vehicle did not stop, it evaded. Garland's police say that decision to keep driving came to a deadly conclusion. The driver of the vehicle overcorrected and caused the vehicle to overturn and wreck. Five people were inside the Tahoe. One of them, a 16-year-old, died. The alleged driver, 18-year-old Joey Jarvis, is charged with murder for causing the crash, as well as organized criminal activity. Burnaby Giles, a passenger, also received an organized crime charge. It's unclear what charges might come to the other two passengers. So we're trying to piece everything together. There may be additional charges to come, yes. Police say they found five loaded firearms, including three AR-15 pistols and two handguns. Property crimes are one thing, but property crimes involving weapons, that's something else. So they were using weapons during these offenses. Back at the tattoo shop, the burglars used a different vehicle than the one Garland police pursued. But Grand Prairie Police confirmed to Fox 4, Jarvis is a person of interest. They're just basically loading everything that they took. Ambries hopes police in Grand Prairie can find enough evidence for its person of interest to be charged. You have to work hard for your things. You don't just get to take it. Garland's police have not released specific information as to why they believe all of these burglaries might be connected. Right now, we know at least eight North Texas cities have had burglaries that they do believe are connected. We have requested arrest warrant affidavits, hoping there's some information in there that could kind of tie everything together and how police came to their findings. I want to point out that Garland police right now are asking any business that has been burglarized during the past month or so that thinks there might be a connection with these suspects to reach out to their local police departments. Steve, Heather, back to y'all. All right, very good. David Centennial reporting. David, thanks.